What's up everybody, we're back with another video and today is a crappy, crappy day. So, I'm gonna pretty much show you the 200 litre tank and you check to see if there's something amiss. Cause I've sure as hell found something missing and I don't know where it's gone, but I have my suspicions. All right, you guys take a look and can you tell which fish is missing? No, it's not the red tail, he's in there. Another fish, the Giardini Arowana is not here. Now, it can't have jumped out because there's all this netting on top that pretty much I clip in place and hasn't been disrupted or anything like that, so it's definitely not jumped out. And usually, when I turn on my lights, everyone comes out. But this fat git hasn't. And I wonder why. Yes, that, that is probably right. The red tail ate the Giardini Arowana. Now, I know, and most people know, that red tails have a big appetite. And I also know that they eat fish smaller than them. But the Giardini Arowana was not that much smaller than it. Even so, it's a fish that stays at the top of the tank and is very fast to... I don't know what the hell happened, how it ate the Giardini, but one, it ate yesterday, you obese prick. Two, I don't like you anymore, so you're gonna go in the pool pond where nobody's gonna see you again. And three, this actually happened because people don't keep to schedules. Had everything been done at the right time, and this isn't about me, because I actually had my own stuff, I just can't move this by myself, uh, to move it to there. So pretty much, let me explain. My plan was, when we moved this tank over to the stand, the red tail was going to come out along with the one of the giraffe nose catfish and the Oscar. And they would have gone in the quarantine tank that was down below. I'm pointing, but you guys can't see, down there. However, the people who are supposed to come over and actually help out with this haven't. They're supposed to come today, but that does me no good now. And my fish is fucking gone. So that's, that's great. That's, and so, I mean, there's not really anyone else to move it. I can't really ask my mum to move this with me because it's just not right. So that was my plan was to move the red tail out before it ate anybody else. And that didn't work, and I'm pissed off because that fish was expensive. That was a 60 pound fish, which is like, what, a hundred dollars probably? Which isn't the end of the world, but he ate a fish pretty much the same size as him when there are these little guys who, no offense, I'd rather eat one of these than my bloody arrow, uh, Giardini. So I don't know what the hell's happened, but I'm taking him out, and I'm going to put him in the pool pond because I don't like him anymore. But as you can see, his stomach is fairly fat. And if he wants to just stay in here because he doesn't want to come out, it's fine by me. So yeah, as you can see, he is fairly big. Like, my hand is there and that's him, so he's huge now, but still. So, there is the red tail. I don't really know how much glare you're going to get, but, you know... Pretty much the same size as my hand. And it really wasn't like I was unprepared or anything of the sort. I was, I had a plan. It's just that my plan relied on other people and there was the mistake. So this is a message for anybody else who's keeping fish or anything like that. Don't rely on anybody else because you just never know if, and it's not like to fault other people, you know, other people have things in their lives. So I can't really be, people do have things going on in their lives and you can't always rely on them to come there and then to help you and then sometimes you're just stuck. So you need to figure out ways of doing things by yourself without other people. I could have moved him a lot earlier to be fair, that is on me, I really could have. However, I just thought because if I was going to move all the fish together, it would have just made more sense to do it all in one go and not try and stress out the rest of the tank which I was trying to avoid but ended up happening anyways. I also lost the fish in the process. Uh, I'd say the only good thing is, is I didn't get attached to the fish, 
but at the same time, bad news is it was a super cool fish, really bloody expensive. I mean, not super, super expensive, but I mean, when you spend loads of money on fish, then it just sucks when you lose one anyways, and... I don't know, I thought I was doing things right for a change, really. I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually thought, gone through a string of bad luck with fish getting killed and dying and other stupid stuff that always happens for no apparent reason to people who like to do stuff, because that's just how life is. It just kicks you in the nuts when you're not looking. And, well, there you go. There's another thing just that comes in your way. So let's put it this way, no matter what you try and do, or no matter how much passion you have for things in life, life will try and find a way to stop you from doing what you want to do. And if you're one of those lucky people where life gives you everything, I, I, I really am envious of you because it really, really sucks. Really sucks. And that was not what I really wanted moving forward to happen, you know, I wanted... I don't know what I wanted, to be fair, but it just wasn't that. I'm mad at him right now, but he is a really cool fish, and I'll probably get over it. And uh, I think, for me, at the moment, it wasn't really the fact that he ate a fish. It was the fact he ate an expensive fish that is really bugging me, because I have cheaper fish in there, which I would rather he have eaten, although it sounds wrong. Because I'm not going to go ahead and buy another Giardini Arrow one, I know. Not now, at least. Maybe, like, in, like, two, three years. Actually, maybe never. Who knows? Uh, and, you know, it really does suck because I did want to see what it looked like when it's older because Giardini Arowanas can have some really cool colouring on them and everything. He's, like, the same size as the Paku. He's actually huge. Which means that... Actually, quite a few fish in this tank are pretty big in that case because he's actually smaller than that small arowana in there. Yeah, but that's pretty much what I woke up to. And, um,. Well, since that's what I woke up to, I'm going to go ahead and make a video on exactly what I do each day. So pretty much what my routine is each each morning, more or less. And I'll kind of just do like a, an update throughout the day on what I actually do. So I'm going to go ahead and make that video. Uh, I know this is kind of a downer and sad. Oh, mainly for me at least. I don't really know how you guys feel. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't really said much. I kind of be like staring off and just being forlorn but that kind of is what happens when you keep big fish with big mouths with big appetites I mean that was always a worry for me but it never crossed my mind he would go for the arowana I was always worried about the flower horn and the tinfoil barbs because I always thought that they were big enough to fit in his mouth but I'd never see him go for them he'd been fed properly uh, in fact yeah I fed him yesterday so But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make the other video now, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope your day is a lot better than mine is. So stick around, because we've still got stuff going on, stuff keeps on moving, life goes on. You know, when life trips you up and decides to chip a tooth, you just get a new one and keep going. So I might not get a new one right away, but I'm definitely going to get up and keep going. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I have to now put the glass panel that sits on top back in the tank, because... That red tail was too big to get out and... Ugh. Why did it have to happen in the first place? Eh? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a video on what I'm doing throughout my day. So I'll see you then. Catch you a bit.